this is seriously going to be the quickest video I've ever done. You've got a spreadsheet, it has data, and you're getting a hashtag null error. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Not going to waste anybody's time. The reason why you're getting this error is a typo within the data. I'm going to click on where one of the null errors is occurring. Looking up on the formula bar, I've got a sum function that has B2 and D2. And what I intended to happen was to put a colon in between it so that it stretched and it added the spaces between the two cells. What's going on that's causing the error is that I forgot to put that colon. So if I just simply click into the formula bar, click backspace, type a colon, and then click enter, the null error now goes away. So anytime that you get a null error, it's pretty much gonna be colons or commas that's missing. I'm gonna click into the null error below the one that we just did and look up at the formula bar again. This time I wanted my data separated by commas instead of colons, and I got one of them you can see, but I missed the one between B3 and C3. Same thing as before, I can just click in, hit backspace, add that comma and click enter. And then now this one's resolved too. Really quick, if you're finding this video helpful, please make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm new to YouTube and appreciate all the help that I can get. The next null error that I'm gonna click into is super similar to before, but instead of missing the first comma, I missed the second one. So same as before, add the comma, click enter, and I'm good to go. And finally, the third one that I have going on here is the same thing, but it looks like I missed all of the commas. So I'm gonna to need to put a comma in between the B and the C, and then the C and the D, and then click enter. And now all my null errors are fixed. To summarize, if you get a null error, what you really need to do is click into the cell that's throwing the error, look up at your formula bar, and then determine where a colon or a comma is missing. Once you do this, you should be good to go. If you're getting another error in Excel or just wanna learn more about errors, make sure to check out the video here. I cover seven in under two minutes and just give a high level overview of what causes each and how to fix it. Thanks again for watching.